With Fasani's nightmare completed from the last video, I'm now focusing my progress towards completing the alchemical hydrolog and any other boss layer related tasks I come across passively. At the moment, I have 136 hydra the task, so I can get started on that. Currently, this is my collection log to start off with, and recently I've got the jar, which was nice. And just to make the video simple, I'll be showcasing my current collection log on every other boss as I encounter them once to avoid repetition. Starting off with the video i've already got uh dragon knives at 2071 kc nothing too special about this drop other than the fact that it's one in 2k but i suppose you could use this for speed running at places like zora then after my hydra task was done i got 129 thermi as a task once again this is the collection log just a jar the pet and the nice thing about this boss is that it has really high kph or kills per hour versus like hydra which is a good change of pace and this should bump me up over 2k total kc i was experimenting on whether or not a volatile orb would be useful at the me which it wasn't anything crazy in terms of dps however at the time of this recording they recently made it so that augury has a percentage magic damage amplification with accuracy whereas previously it only provided accuracy and this made augury kind of pointless but yeah since there's a reason to use augury now where generally people weren't using it this means more prey consumption so instead of using volatile orb it makes more sense for me to save prayer uh, parts using the eldritch there's 2000 kc at dermy so at this point we should expect a jar which is one in 2k dermy task is over now but i get 232 grotesque guardian and i only have 590 kc here but obviously over time we will build this up but collection log wise um nothing exceptional just need granite globes which it shouldn't be too hard to get but pet and jar jar specifically one in 5k is hard to get there we have it an easy collection log on this boss now time to just fill out the last two hardest slots for this boss all right we're making moves now the gg's task is over but i got kraken which actually has a good amount of kc done over 2000 kc so i doubt getting pet here will be that hard since kph is almost like 100 ish trident of the C drop can uncharge this for a free 2.5k chaos and death ruin. Forgot to extend my Kraken task, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But obviously next time will be a bigger task. Okay, this should be the last time to show you the start of a collection log progress. So yeah, after those Kraken tasks I've got, I've got abbey demons to do which means sire so i'm going to be doing the max mage method which i showed in the last video um it's really good to do as well so actually makes me look forward to doing this and i'm getting like 38 to 40 kph which is really nice just like with most other bosses just got the pet left to go for i'm tied at 1646 kc just john pet to look for from this yeah unfortunate a blood in peace no way Back to back. <laughs> Wait, what? The redemption arc? Uh, come on, bro. Come on. No! <laughs> Man! Alright, it's not the redemption arc. What? Uh, another unsighted. This is like what? How many KC? Uh, 47, 3, 4 KC later. Sheesh. I'm actually spooning this catas. What the hell? Third time the charm, surely, as I say. Go on, jar a pet. Oh, yes, jar. Okay. Now I just need the pet. Nice. Now we're cooking something. Just need the pet. Right. This is good. Oh, inside. Please, can I get a pet? Please. Let it be over. End it. No, back to back jaw. What do you mean? Ah, uh, it is what it is. Wait, what? A 109? That is uh, interesting without thralls or anything. What the? Oh, I got Hydra Leather. Okay. 1000 KC at Grotesque Guardians. Not bad. And now we've got 2.5k KC at Hydra. Alright, boys, we are low on Renard. So, yeah, we got 47 at the moment. And we're kind of running low on Super Combat. Maybe I'll just decan that at the GE to make them into four doses. But definitely need more prey parts for my slay grind. So, I'll probably start making some more. I got a 
about 2k, 1k clean and 1.4k uh, grimy herbs. So uh, I'll convert all this into prey pots. I also do have 2.9k almost renal seeds to plant too. So uh, if I can be bothered, I'll try and do this whilst I'm making the potions too. So let me quickly do this. There we go. All the potions decanted. Got about 1.7k prey pot, which should last me a fair bit. All right, back I again. 1.5k KC milestone at Grotesque Guardians. Bro, I, bro, I literally thought that was a jar because it's like three mil as well. Oh my god, my heart dropped. I was like, what? And there is 2.5k Kraken KC. 500 away for the pet rate. What's that? Another trident. Yeah, that's a free 2.5k dead chaos for me. That is the big milestone which I forgot to record. 2000 KC kind of progressed a lot from where we started. I just got my pet Kraken. 2.6k KC. My first slay pair though, pretty good. Green log for Kraken at 2.6k KC. Three jaw pet, five Kraken, 10 and six Trident. Not bad. Not bad. So I'll be just be skipping these for now. Today is update day where Wild Good to Sleep came out along with Tormented Demon. So I'm gonna quickly try and do this quest so I can obtain the new Ember Light and the Scorching Bow, which should be pretty good to get. There we go. Wild Good to Sleep is now completed. This means I have access to kill Tormented Demon. So I'll get started with that. Completed the final CA task, which was to kill three Tormented Demon within a few seconds. And the way I did it is use a plugin called Venom Tracker. And uh, I used that to help me take down through the Tormented Demon with Void Waker to finish them off with. So yeah, wasn't too bad. Oh, I got it. Tormented sign up. Let's go! 284kc, 1.6k more charges. Basically, I need 4 more Ancient Shard for a total of 6 to be able to permanently charge the Arc Light. At the moment, I've got like 3 totems that's fully completed, so one of the totems needs to drop at least 2 shards. The second totem I used, I got 4 Ancient Shards, which is enough to make the Ember Light. First KC back using the Ember Light, I get Bone Claw. If I get the Bone Claw, it can be useful in some places, but yeah, very niche item to use. Alright, quickly looking at how many KC I got through the collection log. Over 1,000 without my second sign-ups I want for the Scorching Ball. There it is, my second sign-up. I was really happy about this because... Uh, it takes so long just to get a task and then it takes a while to actually kill him as well. So yeah, kind of happy that grind is done. So I tried using max million range with Ember Light and Scorching Bow to see how good it is at Abyssal Sire. But in about 20 minutes I got about 35, 36 kph. But the problem I felt with this setup is that you can't really last that long per trip compared to using max made with shadow um not only that using max mage you can sustain using blood barrage and it's 38 to 40 kills per hour versus 35 to 36 so yeah overall it's just more reclined and better 21 43 kc i get another unsired and it turns out to be another avi dagger quick update there's 2.5k kc at grotesque guardians another update at a different boss 2.5k kc here as well Armadale Hammett, number two. Wow, that's my seventh one and only two ACP. Yeah, AFK. There's the big 3000 KC at Hydra, kind of going all over the place, but yeah, that's just the nature of doing Slayer. Oh, what the? ACP? Yeah, you saw that correctly. An Armadale chain skirt from a minion which is like 1 in 16k quite crazy to get there's the big 3000 kc at thermi as well decent loot on the floor hydra leather at 31 51 kc oh oh i got the pet 3.1k kc okay hey nice yeah just a jar to green like it. it's one in 2k so we got the rarest thing out the way Oh, hopefully we get the job before 4k, I guess. 
since that'd be 2x dry. Another Hydra leather added to the collection at 34.69kc. Surely it's this one. This is the 25th unsired. This is definitely on Pere. I know that. Come on. Give it. Oh, we did it! Yes! Woo! Let's go! Alright, yeah. Uh, <laughs> easy game. That's the third Slayer pet. What can I say, boys? What can I say? Easy. After that dramatic uh, reaction to the Slayer pet, I got an arcane from Chambers. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be working on this whilst I work on Hydra at the same time. Jar of Chemical number two. Just on right as well. In this kill, I get more Dragon Knives added to the collection at 42.27kc. Ooh, ACP. Another one. Big jump from last time, but there's a 4,000kc now. Jar of Smoke, 4.2kc. Didn't manage to record this live, but very chill reaction to it, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's the green log. 4.3k KC. Now I can pretty much use Smoke Devil as a way to get my uh, Eternal Gem. I have the Imbued Heart, but yeah, Smoke Devils will be the best way to get my Eternal Gem, like I said. Uh, yeah, now that's another Slay Boss out of the way. Maybe focus more onto Hydra, narrow it down with the Dermy and Kraken Slay Bosses done. At the moment, my Prey Potion stack is low, so I need to go farm some more Snape Grass. Probably will be using all these seeds I have. Uh, and just planning as much Renards as I can be bothered with. Quick update again, just past 4.5k KCR at Hydra. Took a break and did some Trio CM, got myself a Dex. Uh, just looking for the dust and yeah, getting KC for the 2k cape eventually. Oh! Wait, how am I? Okay, I'm dead. Oh, I'm alive? What the? Okay, Alex trying to assassinate me or something or what? Oh, Twisted Bow! What the hell? Sheesh! Easy money, yes? Another Hydra Leather at 49.53kc. There's 600kc at CMs, 1400 more to go. There we go, 5000kc at Alchemical Hydra. Quickly looking at the collection log. It's all right, other than the number of claws I've gotten, which uh, is unlucky. Arcane's raining today. 3,000 KC at Grotus Guardians. No pet or jaw. Uh, should expect a pet at least, but now I'm dry at Grotus Guardians and Hydra for the pet. I need the Hydra Leather at 5,336 KC. I've got the one drop that has any value, the Tourmaline Core at almost 3.1k. A third jar of chemical. Pretty much on rate almost. 5.5k KC at Hydra. Just working through the high score at this point. Just to push through. If you have a look at the chat box. I am now rank 100 for Hydra. And this is the collection log currently. Hydra leather number 10. Alright another big milestone. 6,000 KC. Dude I am so mad I didn't even record this live as well. But I got the farming pet. But there's a random update at half four UK time. Like, what's going on? Ho hopefully, this is not a rollback. But uh, yeah, that is really nice to get. Now I don't have to do tree runs anymore. Um, I just need Chinchompa, Squirrel, and the uh, Rocky. Oh, no, I got a freaking leaked. I'm going to get question mark now. No! <laughs> Dude, listen, listen, listen. I don't have time for a CM right now. I'm gonna join after. I gotta go in like 15 minutes. <laughs> Bro, come on. Yeah, that's just crazy, man, getting a dust. That is the collection log, very spoon. Just got the 2k cape to go. Missed recording this, but there is 6,500 KC at Hydra now. Bit of a random drop, but I got the Arania boots, which are best in slot at CMs instead of wearing prims because they give you range bonuses and you only lose a one scythe max hit, but you can still hit a max hit of a 63 on Guardians. So yeah, this is meta now. I had to stay muted for this clip, but yeah, that is the Hydra pet. 6,762 KCU is such a 
relief gain is pet. Uh, no more counting to three, so that's nice. The final result of my collection log at Hydra is here. Two Hydra Claw, pretty unlucky, but what can you do? But I'm just happy that the log is green now. I should probably also show you this on the sidebar. I've got 5.3k almost tracked in terms of what Lou I've got. Pretty insane. The amount of runes, the cash stack I've got, the alcohols. It's very nice. I was opening up 18 hard caskets and on the 11th one I opened I got the Bandos plate body which is huge. Because it is required for one of the master clue steps. And now all I have left is the flared trouser and the new boss requires me to get three hides. And yeah, someone said it's like something crazy, 30 hours or something for that new master clue step. So I don't know what Jackie is just cooking there, but yeah, I got to do that as well. But yeah, that's me wrapping up the video. It took a while to edit like three, four months worth of clip. But I suppose the next video will be me continuing with the boss log grind as usual. So yeah, thanks for watching.